Because cats spend a lot of time on their feet, their paws can become dry and cracked over time. This is especially true if a cat is allowed to spend a lot of time outdoors on a regular basis. While some paw dryness is just a natural part of the aging process, extreme dryness and cracking can give way to intense pain and infection if the issue is not taken care of in a proper manner. In this video, we will detail several internal and external ways that you can treat your cat's paws in an effort to get them healthy, smooth, and pain-free. The first recommended external treatment on our list is Vaseline. Serving to keep your cat's pads smooth and healthy, Vaseline can be applied two to three times per week. It's critical to note that Vaseline is safe for cats. As we all know, and this is true for any external application, cats will inevitably lick their paws and lick whatever substance has been applied. Vaseline is safe to ingest in small amounts, so your feline will be fine. Another external option is olive oil. Pure and more natural compared to Vaseline, olive oil can heal cracked and dried paws by soothing them. Because olive oil is comprised of several important acids and vitamins, it can act as a positive moisturizer for your cat's paws. As a helpful tip, massage in a bit of warm olive oil. Nothing hot, just a touch above room temperature. If your cat's paws are dirty, clean them off with a damp cloth before applying the oil. Item number three is coconut oil. This treatment is good for soothing and also the removal of bacteria. Because cracked paws are more susceptible to infection, coconut oil can reduce that risk due to its antibacterial properties. Safe to ingest, just a bit of coconut oil goes a long way. Apply a small amount and gently massage in. When it comes to an internal and external remedy, fish oil can work both ways. Containing omega-3 fatty acids and anti-inflammatory properties, fish oil can heal your cat's paws. Not only can this oil work directly, but due to the fact that your cat will likely lick most of it off, the oil can work in other ways. As a means to encourage your cat to sit still during an application process, offer your feline some treats. Reward your cat after each paw has been treated. The fifth treatment option to heal dry and cracked paws is the internal aspect of proper hydration, clean and fresh water. While cats get most of their moisture from wet food, many felines often neglect fresh water. This can leave your cat lacking proper hydration. Just as your own skin can become cracked and dry due to a lack of fluids, the same can hold true when it comes to your cat's feet. The combination of fresh water with food that is designed to promote healthy skin and fur can work in tandem. This will serve to increase moisture levels. Checking in at number six on our list is zinc. Cats often experience cracked paws when their diet lacks the proper amount of zinc. A lack of zinc can also cause poor fur growth and dry and tough skin. Consult your vet and inquire about adding zinc supplements to your cat's diet. 2.5 to 5 milligrams of a zinc supplement each day for 14 days can dramatically improve the condition of your cat's paws. In respect to diet, red meat and poultry are both excellent sources of zinc. However, supplying this food for your cat, especially in raw form, is not something that every owner is comfortable with doing, not to mention the risk of transferring disease within your own kitchen space. Again, we ask that you consult your vet for zinc supplement and dietary tips and advice before taking any bold measures independently. The next treatment option for healing dry and cracked paws is protein. Generic and low quality cat foods are often packed with filler rather than what your cat truly needs. Although protein is a bit more expensive, it is an essential piece to the puzzle. Make it a priority to seek out better, yet affordable food selections that are rich in protein. Because this nutrient is the building block for positive skin and fur, low protein levels could be the reason for your cat's dried, cracked, and even bloody paws. Our final direct treatment and prevention method involves puppy booties or in this case, cat booties. Funny, right? A cat with little shoes. Hey, it can work wonders. When your cat walks around, especially outdoors, 
The surface is filled with all types of chemicals, objects, rough areas, etc. This is why most people don't walk barefoot outdoors. There's a potential hazard with every step. By applying booties to your cat's feet, you can protect them from the elements. Booties are also a good option if your cat is currently being treated for dry and cracked paws. You can continue to treat the issue without the situation getting worse with every passing step. Check your local pet store and see if booties for your feline could be a positive course of action. Rounding out our list at number nine is neither a form of treatment or prevention, but rather a simple choice. Keep your cat indoors. In many cases, this basic act will serve to eliminate most of your cat's issues as it relates to dry and cracked paws. Unless a dietary issue is to blame, keeping your cat on safe, clean, and soft surfaces will be a game changer. So, nine up and nine down. And that's a wrap. If you would like to know more information about this subject matter, we invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. There you will find a detailed article on this topic. If you're currently viewing this video off-site, please click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. Said link will take you to the article in question. And until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll talk to you later.